So right now we're gonna leave the car guys. And remember before when we were lifting the transmission and the engine to do the other mounts, Joseph was using that piece of wood that you guys see over there. Very important to do that so we don't damage anything. And just by lifting this, it's gonna make the job easier. Put some floor jabs for safety. Seventeen millimeter. There's a long bolt, so you'll be here all day. That's true. I'm trying to remove the seventeen, and then we have the three, the three fourteen mils. But he already removed, guys. So just showing you that. Let me show you where it goes. Sorry about that, Joseph. No just for the camera, there it is. That's where it goes. Thank you. Now, Joseph, what he did is just pry a little bit the mount, and then he went out. That's so that was pearl. a pretty good trick. So he pried from there, and just so we can. So you can always yeah. move. The other thing that you guys can do too is install the floor jug. But since right now we are two people here. We needed the space and the mount is out. This one was starting to tear. Starting to crack over there, yeah. guys. Look at that. So, not too bad, but it was starting to tear on both sides. Uh, now we are installing the bug 1320 motor mount. Pretty easy to do, guys, too. So right now it's already there guys and now we are installing the three bolts underneath and a combination of using a pry bar and the floor jack helps a lot. So then I'm just tying this 17 mil. There it is guys. And then it's just snug it. That's it. It doesn't have to go crazy tight. As long as it's nice and snug. Alright. Alright, so this is the first startup and cold start. So yeah, you definitely feel the vibrations a little bit more compared to stock, but that's that's a given. Let's go. Right now guys after the installation it does buy braids but I mean it's livable and they have to yeah. break in too they, right? they do have to break in but I do feel a little more positive feedback so as soon as I floor it I don't feel a thump and then movement I just feel movement now like you transferring all that power yeah. much more than losing power with a bad motor mount yeah now the mo i don't feel the motor shifting in that you know underneath yeah. my feet anymore so. uh, right now also once we are in idle we're gonna see how it feels with ac on yeah that's another good way kind of to test it right yeah but they are fairly new so we are gonna notice you know more vibration yeah for sure i'll be testing these out uh, we're gonna give you a true review after six months guys so keep tuned to the page please make sure that you like comment and subscribe subscribing are just making more videos like this possible yeah. we'll do a poll for the subscribers or what there is. oh definitely i can feel how the power is transferring more than before now yeah yeah okay guys so now we're gonna turn the ac so I'm going to turn on the AC, see how much vibration there is right now. It's very minimal. Yeah, definitely you can yeah. feel the vibration 
Definitely. more than it was before, right? Yeah. So we'll give you some time to break in and then, uh, you know, we'll do a further future review. Sounds so. good. So, guys, this is an installation video. Mm -hmm. Our review video is coming soon. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to Miguel's channel. He's awesome. Thank you. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, so it's been a month and a half that we installed the motor mounts and also the differential mount. And Joseph is going to give me his true and real review of the product. And Joseph, where, how many miles do you think you already put on the... Uh, so far, I want to say 2,500 miles. 2,500 miles in a month and a half. You know, we did drive this vehicle a lot this past couple, like the past month or so. So, but the motor mounts, they feel amazing. The only thing is that I did use the original motor mount for the rear. I did go with the OEM style for that one. And then I have the two aftermarket 1320 motor mounts for the passenger and driver's side. Those, that combination, amazing. No vibration, almost like OEM. Honestly feels just like OEM. And then the rear differential uh, motor mount or rear differential mount, that one, beautiful. S the, the rear end of this vehicle feels so much better now. It used to have a lot of clunking when I would go off-roading during acceleration. I would hear clunking coming from that rear diff. Now, nothing. It's a little more positive too. When I go through obstacles, I feel that rear diff just nice and stable and it, it helps me push the vehicle forward. So honestly, really, really good motor mounts, you know? So just the rear one, if you're if you want to deal with the vibrations of install the rear one but i didn't want to deal with any of the vibrations so i took the rear one out used the oem replacement one and then the two 1320 ones for the driver side and passenger that's a good combination for me so yeah really good motor mounts solid sounds good joseph thank you very much for doing the inst installation video together and a true review. We also gonna do another review after I will say a year. Mm -hmm. So you guys make sure to keep Thanks. tuning the, in, the, in the channel. And I'm also gonna do a review for the automatic uh, or my tomato, which is an automatic transmission, guys. Okay, thank you, Joseph, again. Thank you. And we're gonna be doing more videos together, guys. So make sure that you like comment and subscribe subscribing will make more videos like this possible bye bye